This is Eileen Smith, and coming up in this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to embed a video, podcast, or other multimedia in your WordPress blog post. When we talk about embedding content on our WordPress blog, the first thing we need to do is go over to our settings. Come up to media. You want to take a look at these settings and see if they will work with the layout of your blog. And on the settings page, you'll see that you can adjust the sizes of images as well as Flickr and YouTube. Now, if you know the width of the column that your blog post appears in, that's fine. That's easy for you to figure out. But if you're not sure, you don't have to be really technical. Just take a guess. Then do a post as a draft and just take a look. For example, I'll show you one that's a little oversized. I inserted this one just to show you what an oversized video would look like. Now with the current release of WordPress, and we're currently running 3.3.1, you're able to embed a video from YouTube or an image from Flickr. And here's the maximum sizes that you're going to stipulate that you want for your blog. In this case, you'll see I have 600 by 600. Now all these dimensions are in pixels. Now, if you come over here, you'll see I have this post in draft. And all I did was simply paste the URL to my YouTube video right here in the text editor. Now, if I preview this post, you'll see that YouTube video is embedded nicely within the parameters and the width of my blog post. Now let's take a look at this one that was underneath. And remember before we had a look at this and it was way too wide for my blog post. And the reason is because I use the second method of embedding a video. And that is to grab the embed code from YouTube. So let's come over to a YouTube video, click on the share button, and it opens another dialog. And this one you will click on embed. Here's all the different options here. And notice that I picked 853 pixels by 480. So when I grab that embed code, Come back over to my blog. Now, what you have to do is you have to switch to the HTML view. And you see there that code starts off with the iframe and it tells you that it was 853 by 480. And I just did that to show you that you can customize it to any width you want. Let's do another example. If I don't want any of these standard widths that YouTube has already provided for me, I can just go in and fill in the custom width. Let's say I only want it to be 200 pixels. Just type in 200 and notice how the embed code for the iframe has changed. Okay, see how easy that was? We've already gone through two different ways you can embed a YouTube video. Now let's go down to the next option, which is to use the Vipers Video Quick Tag plugin. And here's a video I'm embedding from Meta Cafe. If you've never heard of Meta Cafe, don't feel bad. I didn't know about them either until I signed up for TubeMogul and found out about all these wonderful places that I could upload my videos to. And in this case, we're embedding a video from Meta Cafe using the plugin. 
you'll see once you install this plugin, you're going to get these little icons. And when you're ready to embed, all you have to do is grab the URL of the video. In this case, here was my URL. Click on the option for whichever video site you're going to use. Here's the choices. YouTube, Daily Motion, Vimeo, Vittler, Metacafe, and Blip TV. And all you do is grab the URL and insert it in this box. This is also flexible if you want to change the dimensions. You can change them on a case by case basis. And you can also go to your settings page and change them permanently. This is the default setting that I have currently for YouTube using the Vipers video quick tag. Okay, now we're going to get a little more fancy and we're going to insert a podcast. What I really love about this plugin, I've talked to you about it before. It's called the Embedly plugin. And the Embedly plugin allows you to embed media from over 200 different services. If you've been following me, you know that I have a podcast. I have a podcast on Mixcloud. And I also upload those same files over to Audioboo. And just as easily as we did in the very first example from WordPress, where we just paste the URL, that's exactly what we're going to do in order to get multimedia from Mixcloud or Audioboo into our blog post. Let's go back over to the editor. See? Here it is. Now, one little tip. Always make sure that this URL does not appear as a link. For example, if the URL was hyperlinked, the video will not appear. We'll just simply see a link in our blog post. Let's just take a look in the preview. See, it's just a link. So we want to always make sure back in our post editor that this is unlinked. Okay. See how simple that is. That's why I really love the Embedly plugin. I think the Embedly plugin is my favorite method for embedding multimedia. And when I say multimedia, let me show you another example. Have you been using Storyfy? Storyfy is another curation tool. And I started up a Storyfy called WordPress Multimedia Publishing. Isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> and I embedded that whole Storyfy in here. And what I did when I started up my Storyfy, I added a couple of my videos. I even have a video from my friend Justin Germino over at Dragon Blogger because he did a video on the Vipers Quick Tag plugin. So I inserted that in my Storify. If you're not sure about Storify, we'll do that another day. But I just wanted to show you that you can, you can embed all sorts of multimedia with the Embedly plugin. If you have some multimedia you want to embed and you're not sure, just head over to the Embedly website. Go to the providers list, which is in alphabetical order. But I just want to run down some of the ones that I know you'll be interested in. Amazon, Animoto, Audioboo, Daily Booth, Facebook, Flickr, Google Maps, Instagram, Mixcloud, Prezi, Screener, SlideShare, SoundCloud, Storify, Tumblr, Twitter, Extra Normal, and last but not least, our favorite, 
YouTube. Oh, I know you probably hate that this video is over, <laughs> but when you get a chance, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel or give it a like, thumbs up or comment. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is Eileen from basicblogtips.com and I hope to see you again soon. If you have any questions about embedding multimedia on your blog post, just leave them in the comment section. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.